about tonight's guest. Me too. Dr. Lisa Love Whittington has been gaining national attention for her paintings, which continue to document African American history and other subjects. In 2017, NBC did a piece about her painting of Emmett Till, and she described how it was such an emotional ordeal for her. Tortured, dead, brutalized, Naked, shot, eye gouged out, ear missing, unrecognizable, she said. I remember creating this work and getting angry, feeling emotional, sad, crying, and throwing my paintbrush across the room because it was such an ordeal. I had to imagine pieces of his experience to birth my artwork. 
Here now is the interview. We were honored to be invited to the home of Atlanta artist and educator, Dr. Lisa Love Whittington. From her studio, where she captures her inspiration and begins the work of crafting it into magnificent pieces of art, to her beautiful upstairs gallery, where she displays her signed and finished paintings, Lisa Love Whittington opened her heart and gave us a glimpse into her world of creativity and artistic responsibility. Lisa, what is your creative process? Once I get an idea, and then I find my time, usually on the weekend, Friday, and I'll stay up all night. And I line my painting, my paints up. I organize my paint. I put all my reds together. I put all my yellows together, all my green paints together, all my neutral colors together. Because when the creativity begins, you know, I can't stop to, oh my gosh, where's red? Oh my gosh, where's yellow? I have to know where it is. And so sometimes some people think an artist's space might be messy, but to an artist, it's organized chaos. I know exactly where everything is. And sometimes it takes a few days. I have some paintings that it took me a day to do, mm -hmm. but most paintings take a process. They have, they take more than one day to do because I work in, in layers. You know, I look at it and, and the thing is, you have to walk away from it. Go away, go do something else, go to sleep, come back. And then when you do, you see something totally different. You see something that you need to add. You see something that you need to fix. Mm -hmm. This one took me a few weeks to do because once the vision is there and, and I push, everything has to move out of my way because sometimes that vision is so strong, I have to get it out. As the civil rights movement of 2020 inspired you to create new art or revisit the civil rights theme work that you've already done? Um, so I started off wanting to document the civil rights movement because I felt like there was not enough artwork. As I was looking for art pieces, but I couldn't find a lot. And then, you know, it kind of made me nervous that, all right, people are going to forget about our history. One thing for sure is that art documents history. Artists are really historians. And so um, I started painting in 1997. And in 1997, I started painting. This is one of the paintings I created. This is a civil rights painting. So it's um, the words say, freedom is near. And so um, this is basically in the South, Mississippi, in a very uh, oppressed area during the Civil Rights Movement. And um, you see the protagonist in this painting is looking out towards the future. And these guys sitting on the bench are waiting. So this is about the Civil Rights Movement. However, I decided to take this painting. I decided that it needed to be updated. So I redid this painting. I recreated this painting to this painting right here. So this painting is the same subject matter as the other painting. Here's the guy looking out to the future. But this time we see a Black Lives Matter worker. We see, um, we see Colin Kaepernick, and we see, this is an ancestor, and then we see the 13th Amendment. Mm. But the guy is still looking out towards the future, mm -hmm. and it's an exit sign, meaning, you know, we thought we were in Zion, we gotta get off this Black Lives Matter movement, we gotta, we got work to do. Right. This is one that was created in 2019, there was a movie called 
When They See Us was about um, the Central Park Five. Mm -hmm. And I watched that movie five times. And out of watching that movie, I created this painting to document what happened to them. Okay, well, Lisa, we wanted to thank you for allowing us to come in your home, visit your studio and your gallery, and the lessons that you've given us on why you are such an awesome artist. So this is just a small token of our appreciation, just so that you know we were here. And right. And it's been forward to you, so seeing it in the museum. Oh. Oh. oh, look at this. Freedom of expression. That's that right. is not me, and that is not art. <laughs> and that is you guys. Artists understand art. I'm going to wear this in my studio. All right. Freedom of expression. This is what Great. it's all about. Great. And you've been Wade's lemonade. And you've been inspiring me all year, so it kind of fits. Thank you. This means everything. You know, this, this, I love this. And thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity to thank share. You. All right. Here again is my favorite artist, Cameron Wade.